Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about the Oculus Quest version 17 update. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Laz USK, and today we're talking about the update of the Oculus Quest version 17. What's new? Well, let's dive in. Of course, in today's video, we're just going to highlight the key points. If you want a full list of all the bugs and changes that have occurred, please go to the link description below. It will lead you directly to the Reddit page where all the changes are. As you know, when version 16 of the Oculus Quest was released, there were a lot of changes, including a brand new user interface. Link in the description below to that video with all the different changes. But in version 17, first, what they've done is enable the Guardian to know when you have an object in your play space and let you know that it's there if you're not able to remove it. So you'll be able to go into your settings and change it from there. I think it's very interesting that Oculus are now on labeling technology that can assist in scanning objects inside of our play space. Does this mean that it's the beginning stages of perhaps AI, incorporating AI into the technology, as well as scanning the entire room so that eventually we can upload it to the cloud and enjoy our own private home as an environment in itself? The other big change that's occurred in version 17 is the ability for people to toggle on or off the red dot when you're recording footage inside of the Oculus Quest. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is a good move because, you know, people might actually forget that they're recording something. And the fact is that when you're recording footage inside of the Oculus Quest, it takes more battery power. And also, of course, it absorbs tons of memory usage. So, you know, you'll be, you, you might find out that suddenly you got no more memory inside your Oculus Quest. And you're like, hey, how come I can't install a new app? And you'll be struggling to find out, you know, what is the reason? So don't forget that in a new user interface, you can go to the storage area and see what is taking up all your storage. So if you are a content creator or you're someone who likes to stream or, or record things in your headset, you know, do bear that in mind. Hand tracking is finally moving away from the experimental features into general features. Now, guys, have you tried to use the hand tracking to do your Guardian? Let me know in the comments below if it's worked quite well for you. For me, it's kind of touch and go sometimes, but I'd love to get your feedback on that. And also voice dictation is moving out of the experimental features into general features as well. Have you guys tried it? Have you been able to use your voice for doing search and things like that? Let me know in the comments below. So apparently, according to Oculus, you'll be able to search for bundles inside of the Oculus Store. Now, that's great that we can search for that, although I don't know whether that's really a big deal game changer, to be honest with you. And also, I'm, personally, I don't know, I find the bundles not very interesting and the pricing not extremely attractive. So perhaps, I don't know, it's just an idea. What, what do you think of the idea of being able to customize your own bundles? Because the apps that they put there sometimes I don't know, it's too restrictive, it's not very flexible, and the choices of apps, especially if you've already bought one app or two apps, that, and then the price is not, I mean, to me, the price is just not very attractive. Well, what do you think of this idea? How would you want the bundles to improve? And do you think the pricing is attractive enough or should be more attractive? Leave a comment below. According to the release notes, they've also made it easier for people to be able to share photos and videos after you've taken them in VR. So you'll be able to share them straight away to Facebook or to your messenger. So I think it's great to be able to be connected to all the different platforms. For sure, it's always good improvement to have. On a side note, you know, they've also released some new emojis apparently in specific countries uh, that will be used in Horizon. So is this a sign that Horizon is also coming quite soon? Who knows? And also, of course, they just released various specific groups on Facebook that are tied back to Oculus Quest. So when you join those groups, you'll actually be using your Oculus login details and not your Facebook profile details. All right, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching today's video. You guys are super awesome. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality. Thanks also for going to watch and view all the previous videos. We had 40 videos go missing recently. Not quite sure where they went and there's a storm outside. And also Google's not quite sure where they went. And if you look on our profile page, you'll see there's a little stats box between May 9th and May 11th, the 10th is gone, as if May 10th never existed on our page. So that was kind of unusual. But anyway, until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. Take it away.